Let's start our meditation practice. Uh, please find a very comfortable posture. Keep your back straight as much as you can. Gently close your eyes. Take a few deep, long breaths and relax your whole body. Calm down your mind. Relax your whole body 
from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. Observe all the different part of your body individually and see if they are relaxed, free from tension or strain. Breathe in deeply, breathe out softly. Relax, relax, relax. Let's practice loving kindness meditation thinking may I be well, may I be happy, may I be peaceful. May I be well, may I be happy, May I be peaceful. Be loving and kind person to yourself. May I be well, may I be happy, may I be peaceful. Understand the meaning of each words deeply and clearly and repeat them to yourself. Understand in this moment how important self-love. Self-love is greatest medicine to heal yourself within. If you truly loving and kind person to yourself, it's much easier to love others. Feel peaceful, loving thoughts to yourself. May I be well. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. Wish to yourself 
bless to yourself may i be free from mental and physical suffering may i be free from anger fear ego sickness worrying may i be free from all the negative thoughts may i be able to take care myself happily may i be well may i be happy may i be peaceful now think about your family your friends and your loved ones imagine them individually may my parents husband or wife boyfriend or girlfriend children grandchildren your best friend close friends brothers and sisters and also think about your pets may all my family be well be happy be peaceful may all my family be well be happy be peaceful may all my family be free from mental and physical suffering may they be free from anger fear worrying may they be free from all the negative thoughts may they be able to take care of themselves happily may they be well May they be happy. May they be peaceful.
if you have any difficult people in your life this is the moment to send loving kindness may my difficult people be well be happy be peaceful now extend all of your loving kindness and compassionate thoughts to the whole the world so many people are suffering mentally and physically some people are in hunger thirst fear danger in this moment we couldn't help them physically but we can send our loving thoughts please send your loving kindness to all the world may all living beings be well be happy be peaceful may all living beings be well be happy be peaceful may all human beings and non human beings and also nature of the environment be well be happy be peaceful when you feel loving kindness towards others it's help you also to develop in happiness and peace may all living beings be well be happy be peaceful may all living beings be free from mental and physical suffering may they be free from fear anger hatred worrying may they be free from all the negativities may they be able to take care of themselves happily may they be well may they be happy may they be peaceful
Now slowly turn your attention to your subtle sensation of the breath, your natural ordinal breath. We can practice mindfulness meditation. Please take in every breath mindfully, take out every breath mindfully. No need to control your breathing. Center attention to the tip of your nose. Breathe in mindfully. Breathe out mindfully. If you want to change your posture anytime, you can change your posture. Do it mindfully and slowly. Keep your back straight. It's very helpful to breathe. Breathe in mindfully. Breathe out mindfully. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. So many sounds, thoughts, sensation, feelings, emotions may distract your mind. Let them come and go or let them be. Focus on your natural, ordinary breath. Breathe in mindfully. Breathe out mindfully. Where is your mind? Please bring it back to the breath. Breathe in mindfully. Breathe out mindfully.
now observe your mind observe your body your body is relaxed mind is calm and tranquil think about how important it is to practice this meditation every day keep in ourselves happy peaceful and balanced please bring your palms together in front of your heart make a strong determination to practice this meditation every day may peace be with you may all living beings be well be happy be peaceful thank you very much please open your eyes good evening everybody uh, thank you so much for coming and host joining with online uh today i want to talk about um little message and little talk uh, about our loving kindness practice and how we can use this loving kindness practice in our regular life uh what we did uh we practice loving kindness meditation and mindfulness meditation focusing our breath practicing self awareness we call sati sampajan uh, focusing our breath in and out this mean uh being aware about ourselves being in the moment is very important uh today i want to talk with you a little bit about uh three teaching about in buddha uh we call dana seela bhavana dana mean generosity seela mean morality and third one uh, bhavana meditation uh today we practice meditation and also why i think about to talk about this three teaching this three teaching are interconnected because uh, next month we will have precept ceremony so many people are um learning and thinking and uh, about taking the precepts and uh, that's why this is very important uh these three teaching are interconnected generosity and morality and meditation some people have a question is that enough practice meditation uh that's why i want to explain little bit about this three teaching generosity when we talk about generosity uh they have three 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 ways to giving the giving of material things we call arm is dana always when we are talking about generosity right away come to our mind or something we have to give material food or uh, cloth medicine or something what people need people or animal or anyone needs giving physically money or something that's the right way when we talking about generosity come to our mind but they have three ways to giving that's the first one one thing second one the giving of uh, fearlessness we call abhedana 
giving of fearlessness this is th this point is very important i i first explain to you those are interconnected when we talking about the precepts five precepts they have uh, first one is refrain from killing taking life to mother beings and second one uh, refrain from stealing think about that two precepts comparing ourselves we don't like to harm in to anyone ourselves or killing and same way other beings and we don't like to take our things and uh, then we are we why this precepts are important we if we practice this precepts taking precepts we are practicing giving fearlessness to other beings and third one uh, uh refrain from sexual misconduct and also uh, fourth one uh, refrain from false speech and fifth one refrain from intoxicant liquid and drugs that led to heedlessness and carelessness this all the five precepts when we are deeply focusing it's very helpful to ourselves and others too because we we have practice in this moral conduct we are giving to other people other animal or any beings to fearlessness practicing giving fearlessness as a first precept is directly we are not killing any beings any living beings we are giving fearlessness and also in our, in buddhist country in our uh, in sri lanka and people what they do practicing uh, abhedana they are releasing uh, who um people kill animal po who was planning to kill animal they are releasing them just example um cows and goats birds they are they are giving food to that people with money and taking the the animal and they are releasing them they are practicing fearlessness that's the second generosity third one is the giving of dhamma we call dhamma dan sharing the teaching of the buddha what i am doing i am sharing some teaching with you what's buddha taught us and also thus i am giving a speech but we can without telling any words we can teach some message to the world who seen us they can see our practice uh we are not harming to anyone we are being loving and kind and we are smiling that kind of good practice other people can see uh our teaching but our practice that's the one of way to giving uh dhamma uh i have a little story share with you i talked with one of of uh, our friend uh, my one of my friend he is working in home uh, home care facility taking care of elderly people and he he said very wonderful amazing story what he said uh, what we talked we talked about in this one and half, almost more than one year it's difficult challenging time people are facing and now people are getting used to that and 
some people are complaining we are in mass and what's the difficulties and we stay at home and same time he share uh, the story what he said he he's take us uh, he's going to the home uh, one home to take care a uh, elderly person he is 92 years old person he when he go every day to take care of him when when he go to the home that home he is always welcome him very smile face he is 92 years old he couldn't walk he just what he is riding only bed to chair chair to bed or uh, without help he couldn't go anywhere just sometime per day little little bit with with help with helping workers uh, little bit walk and also when he has ask about the breakfast or something any food anything is never complain whatever offer he want to he is enjoying and also only fun thing what he do he has to watch the tv but his wife come and changing without asking any permission changing channel but he is never get angry he is okay with that and always very polite and always smiling and when we helped him he always saying thank you and uh, and always being happy mood he said he has never practiced any meditation or anything but his point is he is naturally he is sharing dhamma who is seeing that person is he is very calm and he is uh, smiling and he is uh, he is happy with what he is have he is content and he is satisfied think about that person's life and our life we can walk where we want to go we can uh, what we want to eat we want to we have everything but sometimes we we are complaining and think about the different life in complaining uh comparing to the other people uh that's very good message to us uh, and also i talked about the dana three ways to give in dana and second one is a seal morality when we practice taking any precepts what is why it's important people are thinking why am i have to take precepts and oh uh, it's very important because that's the foundation about our practice seela is the foundation and also the bhavana what we practice love and kindness and mindfulness it's helpful to practice self awareness about ourselves whatever we are going through just example uh i have a big weakness i'm getting i have anger sometime um uh, how i manage my anger with this meditation helpful to me to see my anger and when i whenever i get when i i'm very young teenage time i'm more than always angry whenever someone tells something i react very aggressively and always but now i can this with my practice i'm little by little i can change it i can i can see my anger sometime i can uh manage it sometimes not but sometimes it's a good thing i can 
manage it, I can see my anger. That means we are practicing meditation, we are practicing self-awareness, we call Sati Sampajanya. Uh, but this all the three ways we are practicing dana, generosity and sila and meditation is three ways uh, is very helpful to make a strong uh, practice. Otherwise, when we start practice, little while, after little while, we are trying and we are letting go. We are give up. Oh, I couldn't do it anymore. This is very difficult. I, did, I, don't, know, I don't have any benefit. Some people do it like that. But if you want to be uh, with your practice very strong, these three ways you can focus. That's the very important uh, message I want to give to you. Uh, please keep in your mind this message and thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Uh, now uh, we we monks going to chant and bless to you uh, loving kindness sutta. Uh, please listen this chant mindfully and lovingly. Uh, when we chant, you can close your eyes and practice loving kindness to yourself. May I be well, may I be happy, may I be peaceful. Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhansa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhansa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhansa Bhagavarahansa Sambuddho vinja charana sampanno to loka vidu anottaro purisadam sarati deya deva manusanam buddho bhagavati svakato bhagavatadam Sambhittiko akaliko ehi pasiko Opanayiko pancatam veditapho vinyo iti Supati panno bhagavato savaka sango Pati panno bhagavato Savaka Sanko Pati Panno Bhagavato Savaka Sanko Sami Che Pati Panno Bhagavato Savaka Sanko Yadidam Chathari Purisa Yugani Pukkala Esa Bhagavato Savaka Sango Niyo Pahu Niyo Dakki Niyo Anjali Karaniyo Nuttaram Punyakethaṁ Lopan Sati Satcha Vajjena Dukkha ka up samintu te tena satcha vajjena up samintu te tena satcha vajjena 
गाऊपमेंतु ते को तो हिताय सभ्यपाणीना पारमी सभापत्तो संबोधि मुतम तेन सच वज्रेन हो तो ते जय मंगल बोधिया मूले सख्यानंदीवर्धनो एवं हो तो जयसु जय मंगल उदरतन सदंगम वर देवनुषा बुद्ध तेजेन सोतिना पदवा सभ्ये रुखाऊपमेंतु ते संतनो सदंगम वर हरिलाऊपनंद सुना सन्तुपदवा सभ्ये उपमेंतु ते संगरतनोसद मंगर आहुने पाहुने संग तेजेन सन्तु पदवा सभ्ये रुकगाऊपमेंतु ते रतन लोके विजति विविध पुत बुद्ध सामनति तस्मासुति भवंतु ते अंखिचिरतन लोके विविध पुत रतन बम सामनति तस्मासुति भवंतु ते किंचिरतन लोके विजति विविध पुत रतन सामनति तस्मासुति भवंतु ते मे शरण बुद्धो मे शरण वर तेन सच वज्रेन हो तो ते जय मंगल मे शरण सम्मो मे शरण वर तेन सच वज्रेन हो तो ते जय मंगल अन्यं संगो मे शरण वर तेन सच वज्रेन हो तो ते जय मंगल बीति विवाजंत सब रोगो विनाशत ते भवरा सुखी दीकायुको भव मंगल रखंत सब देवता सब बुद्धानुभावेन सुति भवंतु ते भवत सब मंगल रखंत देवता सब दुभावेन सदा सुति भवंतु ते मंगल रखंत सब देवता सब संगानुभावेन कतूता पापघानिवारुभावेन ते संपदे आकाशट्टा चुम्मठा पानागामी का पुण्यतांगमोदि 
ಸಾಸನಾಕಾಸಟ್ಟಾಚಿರಂಗಾಕಾಸಟ್ಟಾಚಿರಂಗಾಕಾಸಟ್ಟಾಚಿರಂಗಾಕಾಸಟ್